So the conversation and indeed the action have begun. As it relates to the character games, we have top Jamaican athletes opted out of this regional sports day. <laughs> we want to spread the conversation now to the pen relays. Same as with the character games, certain caliber of Jamaican young athlete don't need the pen relays either. Both Carifta and Pens have become victims of the evolution of the local track and field landscape. With the expansion of the pre-champs season, where every weekend from January through to March, there is one or more development meets spread across the island. There is the Gibson Relays. There is now the Digicel Grand Prix Series, which involves the Western, Central, Eastern, the Corporate Era Championships, and the season-ending finale, the GC Foster Classic. If our top athletes are to be managed and protected for optimum returns on their talent, then we cannot make the same decisions for them today that we made 30 or 40 years ago. <laughs> the character games cannot help Jamaica's elite athletes, neither do they need to go into the cold at pen relays to risk injuries in order to impress scouts. Scouts now come to Jamaica to watch these kids at champs, and if needs be, them scout them online. <laughs> as far as Jamaica's top talents go, meets like the Carifta Games and the Pen Relays are into the analog age. <laughs> While Jamaica's elite young talent right now, them are digital talent. <laughs> digital talent, digital talent.